back. Guess what day it is? It's Sunday. Today I'm going to talk to you about uh, green teeth manufacturing and their green teeth for your stump grinder. I'm going to give you some facts about them. Uh, they're not endorsing this. They didn't send any free products or anything like that. I use them. I want to let you know a lot of people don't know that there's three different types of green teeth. Okay? They come in different sizes for different horsepowers. But even at that, there's three different types of green teeth. So I'm going to show you uh, each tooth, and I'm going to show you also what can happen, like when you hit a rock or something like that. And uh, in another video, I'll show you how I sharpen them. There's two different ways that you can do it. That I did. I did the poor man's way in the beginning, and I'll show you that in another video. And then I built a different setup, like a lot of guys do with the drill press and stuff, to do them even better. Okay. But uh, the next video I'll do in a couple weeks will be the poor man's way and, and also the, the, the right way that I do them, okay? Now today I'm just going to be talking to you about the green teeth itself and uh, how, I, how to identify them and why there's three different teeth, okay? Anyway, let me turn back to it and we'll start this off. Oh, by the way, like, subscribe. Uh, make some comments. It's great. Like I always say, if you got a uh, hee-haw type comment, leave it at home. If you got something constructive, tell me about it, okay? I'm doing this to help guys out. I'm my, on my way out of this business. I'm 58 years old. I was a fireman. I'm retired. I'm slowly getting older, so I'm slowing down. But, um, so I'm trying to pass on. I've ground for 20 years. Pass on what I've learned on the, on you guys for free. Okay, so if you could subscribe, I really appreciate it. Helps me out in the long run. Keeps me motivated. Let's just say that. Okay, and um, I've got some really nice comments lately from guys. Uh, I guess you call it down young, uh, down. Uh, how do you say? In Australia. Uh, the guys are wonderful. They make great comments on Facebook to me and on uh, YouTube comments. They're going through hell right now with the fire, so my heart's with you guys. I'm a retired fireman, so I understand it, okay? Um, stay safe, and let me start off with these two, okay? All right, we're back to the teeth. Look at there, I got a little decal, green teeth manufacturing. It came in a box with the teeth, whatever time I ordered teeth. And this right here, real quick, is green seeds basically it's an anti-seize compound for when you're putting your pockets on okay you got to put something on there either it's just regular uh grease like you pump it to a greaser around your bolt when you put it in because these will seize up okay a lot of times you'll be changing out your leads but the ones that are recessed that you don't don't wear as much you won't be taking them out if you don't put anything on there like the anti-seize or some grease they will seize up in there, and you'll have a bang up time trying to get them out, okay? That's just a little, you know, advice for me. Anyway, we got that out of the way. Now we're going to the teeth, all right? You see three teeth here, one, two, three, okay? You see a fourth one there? Well, we'll talk about the fourth last. Here's the three. First one, look real close. Let's turn it around. See? It says WS. Hmm, WS stands for wear sharp. Okay, that's their newer design. Okay, it's got, got a nice concave. That's what I run on my machines, okay? And the reason why is design is so when it starts wearing here, it's got a, a bigger concave and a rim here, which you know what? I'll show you on the, this other tooth real quick so you can notify why, notice why, excuse me. There it is. You see the profile after it starts wearing? You've got that deep concave. I like these because these sharpen really easy for me. Okay? I can get this back. and cup in and come on out and be real sharp. This one hits some concrete, and I'll explain to you a little more about that last. Anyway, that's the wear sharp. That's the new ones they, they're running, okay? Some guys goes, ah, nothing wear sharp or whatever. Yeah, these things do wear to where you can resharpen them a lot easier. Okay, a lot of the old ones, which, let's find the original ones here, hold on, no, 
Here's the original one. Sorry about that. Here it is. It says GRN. That means green. Okay? These are the greens. They're concave a little bit. When you're resharpening these after periods of time, they'll become flat straight across. Yeah, they'll be sharp on the edge, but they'll, they won't have that cup in it. Okay? All right. So these are the original ones they came out with. All right? I ran these for freaking years. I love them. They're great. They're strong. Uh, if you're going to be in like a, a little bit more of a rocky environment, I'd go with these. Okay? The wear sharps have a little more of a cup in them. And they will kind of explode like that one did there. So, I still run these because I'm in a little bit of everything. Environment here, urban environment. Alright? Now, I showed you the originals. Now, some of you guys live in like real sandy environments. Florida... Georgia, a sandy soil where you're not going to find very much rock. And let's say your trees and you're doing a primarily a softwood, like let's say pines, okay? Pines, as you know, when your teeth start getting dull, they, they kind of drag the wheel a little bit and make big chips, long, strangling chips. Well, these are reds. A lot of people don't even know they exist. Reds are sharper, okay? See that? They're a lot sharper. Okay. And when you grind them, they'll grind, regrind to a very nice sharp edge. But reds, if you hit something hard, they will tend to explode more. Okay, so that's why I like to only use reds. Sometimes I used to keep a set, and if I was going to do a property with just pines, I put them on my leads. That way I blast through them faster. Okay, especially back in the day, I used to have a 252 Vermeer when I was starting out. I would run reds on that, okay? Now, there's something else I need to tell you about. You see these three teeth? I'll make this a short video, but you see the three? Right? These guys were designed and made by green teeth, okay? You will go on the internet, and you will see some people saying green teeth. Or they'll be cheaper. So, well, I could buy them cheaper from this other company here, right here on the internet. And they come in a yellow case, and they're nicely packed. They're counterfeits, okay? They're being made in China, and they're counterfeits. How you know you got the real one? Look at that. There's a little tree in it, all right? All right, and it's marked. Like, I use 900s. That says 900 on it. That's how you know, but look at it. Same thing. Every tooth is marked. This one's a red. Now, this one has worn off the marking, okay? Because you'll see the marking. Hold on. You'll see the marking deep in here. You'll see it somehow, somewhere. You'll see a shadow of a tree. It's in there somewhere. It's barely there. This is a green tooth, okay? But the counterfeits, how you know it's a counterfeit, not just by the marking. They, if you've ever run green tooth before, you know but you gotta have this special washer here that goes here and the tooth comes in and then on this series I got a 5 8 nut that goes here. On the counterfeits, this, on a brand new tooth, will be really, really hard to slide up, up and down, okay? The tolerance that was machined was improper on the counterfeits, all right? And then you'll notice, if you wanna use them, use them. Hey, I can not tell you, I still buy American. So I still buy from these guys. These guys helped me in the very beginning. When I call them, if you call Green Teeth, you're going to talk to a sales guy named Chris Peters. He knows all this crap about this. He knows it. You tell him what machine you got, he'll tell you what to run. He'll tell you if you're going to run 500s, you're going to run 7s, 9s, or, or I think it's 1100s for the bigger horsepower machines, right? I'm running up to 45, 50 horse on, on my, my stuff, all right? So... Once again, about the counterfeits, these here, after they wear on here, you will have a hard time getting your tooth out of that pocket. You'll be hitting it with a hammer to get it out, all right, because that tolerance gets so tight and they start wearing, all right? So, be aware, somebody copied a great design, they're counterfeits, buy from the original guys. I say that because, you know what, they've been good to me. They're not paying me, they've just been good to me. Now, if you got a 252 machine or a Carlton 20, if you got, let's say, a 25, 27 horsepower machine, these guys here have another setup called a green wheel or the quad wheel. 
and it uses a different kind of pocket system. There's three teeth per pocket, right? And the pocket has like one bolt in the center. You take out and you pull the whole thing out. I used it on another diesel machine, the model that came out before this that was belt. I had a, a wheel for it and it was amazing, okay? And then on the old Vermeer I had, uh, that design is similar to something that came from Europe. You guys in Europe, there was a design called Alpine wheel and it had three teeth on it. They stopped making it. It was great on my 352, all right? So I know their design that they got to upgrade it. I know it's like 1500 bucks or something like that. It's worth it. If you're going to be in this business and you got a low horsepower machine, you'll feel like you're getting like five, ten more horsepower out of the thing. And it's less teeth to maintain, okay? The yellow jack system, I know about yellow, yellow jacks. Somebody's going to make a remark to me. Oh, but I got a Vermeer with yellow jacks. Yeah, they're two-sided tooth, all right? And these... I have a three position on it. One, two, three. Okay, so you can rotate it in that pocket. All right, three different ways. But sometimes when you're grinding, you don't get three position, okay? It's like, let me show you on this exploded one. I will sharpen this and keep it in my box just in case. So in the just in case clause, if I put it in here, all right, it's not gonna work real well, right? I'll be grinding over here, yeah, but I still got hardly any tooth here, right? But still, I could take the same tooth, put it on this side, and I'm fully covered, see? I could still use it. This is my just in case, all right? And I do save them. I keep them in a box, because you never know. Sometimes you put nice teeth on a machine. First, first, I know someone's run into, the first stump you go and grind has a nice piece of pipe or some kind of Happy New Year thing in it, all right? Some surprise, so that's why I keep that stuff with me. You never know, you go into old, I do old house environments, urban area, it's a lot of crap laying around. Anyway, that's enough of that. I showed you about the exploded tooth a little bit and how you reposition it. I told you about counterfeits. Uh, if you got another question about it, I told you about 252s with different wheels. Oh, back to yellow jackets. I find that they're made out of softer carbide. I didn't like them. They basically were trying to use the same type of system, but a two thing. I immediately, when they were worn, I took them off the machine and went to green teeth. All right, and I've been doing this a long time, and all my machines, everything I have runs 900s, okay? Uh, my buddy across the street, he's got a brand new machine from Ben. He's running the same thing, 900s. All right, um, his older machine ran a new Re revolution machine, new revolution wheel, excuse me. That wheel is very, very strong, okay? Especially in a rocky area. I find the teeth to be a pain in the ass. On a high horsepower machine, God bless you. I'm sure they're fantastic, especially, you know, uh, I don't have a high horsepower machine. My machines stay at 50 and below horsepower. So, uh, I love this system better, okay? Been happy with it, and I've got so many teeth from 20 years that I, I keep old ones around, I resharpen whatever I can, and then, you know, finally you gotta get rid of them. You know, nothing lasts forever, right? Hell, I'm not gonna last forever. Um, anything else? Oh, I'll, I'll be doing another video on this one. My stuff for my pump, my gaskets came in. That's another story. I'll tell you all about that. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you another story on that. It'll be up and running next week. Anyway, that's it. I want you to have a great Sunday. Subscribe, like, or tell me that you hate me, but you still love me deep down because at least uh, remember my saying, hey, uh, if you're not learning something every day, you must be freaking dead. All right? Because if you say you know it all, either you're dead or you're an asshole. Sorry, I had to say it. Anyway, have a blessed day. It's Sunday, I know, I know. I gotta get cleaned up, take my wife to the movies and go eat some, take her to dinner and use some of my stump grinding money. By the way, if you got anything else you want me to make a video about, about the stump grinding business in general, how to get in it, what not to do, what to do, how I did it, and you may have a better way or whatever. Anyway, God bless. Bye-bye.